So in previous session, in previous video, I talked about CIDR, class list, entire domain routing. I told you that we do not really care about class full IP addresses anymore because we want to use the IP addresses in an optimized way effectively. We do not really want to waste IP addresses. So we just go with our own subnet masks and the number of bits that we want to assign to subnet mask is not dependent to the IP address class anymore. So what I'm going to do here is to go back to my routing protocol configuration and I'm going to tell the routing protocol to not care about the class for IP addresses anymore because some of the routing protocols really care about that and they uh, take this into consideration. I'm going to show you what the problem would be if we do that. But before doing anything, what I'm going to ask you is to click on that subscribe button. Also, there is a bell button there. If you click on that and activate that, anytime that I post a new video, you are going to receive it as soon as possible. Give me a thumbs up too. That's going to encourage me to create more of these kinds of videos for you. So let's see that what we have in our routing table. First of all, show IP protocol is going to give me uh, the result of the configuration that we had done before. This is kind of a verification command. It says that you have configured RIP here. The send version is 1, which means that it's going to send and receive all the updates using broadcast. I'm going to talk about this detail later. But what is important for us is here, it says that the automatic summarization is in effect. We haven't changed this. This means that this is going to be class 4. Very important detail here. So what is the result of this control plane configuration on the data plane? So let's see the data plane. I'm going to type show IP route to see that. And what I see is this. I see 2000 slash 8, although I configured 2220 slash 24. So if I go back to router 2, and here I'm going to type show interface loopback 0, uh, it tells me that the IP address that I have set on this interface is 24 bits, but the routing table doesn't have 24 bits in its own information because it says this is network 2. Network 2 by default is a class A IP address. Class A IP address is by default 8 bit subnet mask. So why would I care about the rest of this? I'm going to ask this router to care about the rest of this because if I had some other IP address, that would be a problem. So let's go to router 2, first of all, or let's go to router 3. That would be better. First of all, I'm going to show IP interfaces brief to see that we do not have an interface like 2230. I have 2220 on router 2. If I go to router 3 and go to configuration, I'm going to type interface loopback, let's say 2, 2, 3, I'm going to have this IP address for that. IP address is going to be 2233, 24 bits. This should be in our routing table. So if I show run section router rip, it says that I have network 3. I don't have network 2. I'm going to assign this to here. So router rip. I'm going to have network two zero 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 hit enter i'm saying two zero 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 because when i'm entering the network information into rip configuration even if i say two two three zero it's going to get rid of the rest of this because again this is classful it says i accept everything classfully maybe i care about classes later maybe i do not care about classes later based on the configuration that i have but anyway when you enter the configuration for network, that is going to be class 4. Okay, this means that I should somehow know about 2230. Do I or don't I? So if I check here, I only have 2000. And it goes to 110.1.123.3. It also goes to 110.1.23.2. It goes to router 3, it goes to router 2. I don't really know anything about this. So let's see this. If I try to ping 2222, two, 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 the ping is successful. If I try to ping 2233, two, three, three, the ping is unreachable. Now you see the problem, right? Although we have configured this with 24 bits, we have information here, but this information is useless for us. So we cannot really do anything about this. Maybe later, it just be successful, but that's going to be a random result.
So what should I do? First of all, I say I should say that summarization should not be in effect. I need detailed information. I don't want this kind of information, which is very general. How can I do that? What I need to do is to go to configuration and say to rip process, do not care about summarization. So let's do that. I go to configuration mode. I go to rather rip process and I say no auto summary. And I hit enter. And just to change the things a little bit, I can just change the version of rip to 2 so that instead of sending broadcast and receiving broadcast, it sends multicast. That would be better, right? I can do it here or I can do it later, but let's do it here. Why not? And I'm going to do this on all routers, not just this one, all routers. So let's write the configuration in Notepad and then paste it on every router here. So what I'm going to do is to go to Enable Mode. First of all, let's have a few enters. I'm going to increase the size so that you can see better. Enable, then go to Configuration Mode, then go to Router Rip Process. Then I'm going to have Version 2. Also, I'm going to have no auto summary. This one is very important. For this, uh, we are going to have no auto summary. Then I'm going to end and save everything. And that's it. Okay, let's copy this and do on all routers here. The first one, the second one, the third one, fourth one, fifth one, also sixth one. Now the things have changed a little bit. Let's see the effect of that. Go back to router 1. Again, type show IP route. Now we have very much detailed information here. Uh, it takes a little while. I mean, let me refresh this one more time. Yes, now it has refreshed. Okay, see. We have 222, which goes to uh, one of the other. We have 223, which goes to another one. We have now 333. You see that everything is in 24 bits version. So if I just see that, and, and if you see that there are some poisons uh, values inside this. Uh, by poison, I mean the values do not seem to be okay. The, the value do not seem to be correct. First of all, you can wait for some seconds or you can clear the IP routing table to kind of trigger the routing protocol to populate this with fresh information. So how can you do that? You just type clear IP route and that's going to, uh, of course, route. And after that, you need to have a asterisk here. Asterisk means everything and hit enter and that's going to trigger the routing protocol to populate this routing table one more time and again show IP route. So if you somehow see something which is kind of wrong you can do this and now you see that 222 goes to router 2, 223 goes to router 3, right? So let's do the ping and see if everything is working just fine. 2222 two, two, two is reachable. Ping 2233 two, three is reachable. Everything is working just fine. You see that? So this is why we disable auto summary. Because we need to know the exact network which we are going to get to. And with auto summary, everything is going to be summarized. I'm going to talk about summarization later, why summarization is good. But summarization should be something that we control it. We have full control over that. But here, no, we do not really want to have summarization in this case. So this is auto summary. In next session, I'm going to continue configuring RIP and checking the results of that configuration.